Hi guys, welcome to our magical Harry Potter compilation. A Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fiero! <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely more Italian than British. It's or a, a Hogwarts! Still Italian. Oh, would you like a cup of a tea? <laughs> I'm nailing it. Enjoy. I think you're being hard on me. I am being accurate on you. Hermione! <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure this will work? It has to. The Mirror of Error said shows you your deepest desire. If we want to find the Horcruxes, it can show us where they are. I don't know. It seems kind of mental. Work for the Sorcerer's Stone. Remember, Harry, you want to get the Horcruxes. It has to be your deepest desire. you see? Uh-huh. Uh, nothing. Uh, just my family. My dead family. Whoa, really? What are they like? Doesn't matter. No, come on, describe them to us. Uh, well, my mum has green eyes, like me. Mm. And my dad has dark hair and all that. Well, no Horcruxes here. Well, I'd better try. <laughs> what do you see? Uh, uh, I'm top of our class. Isn't that already real? It sure felt real. I'll say. Okay, it's up to me. I'm Quidditch, Captain. Well, we shouldn't give up. Yeah, worth another try. So we can find the Horcruxes. Yes. Yeah. Two or three, maybe. Once again, the uh, It's my grandparents. My exams. Still Quidditch. Manly Quidditch. I'm so sorry about the cancer's turn. Severus Potter. You were named after two headmasters of Hogwarts. One of them was a Slytherin, and he was the bravest man I've ever known. To say that I am, then Slytherin House will have gained a wonderful young wizard. Dad, what if I 
get put into Slytherin? Lily Luna Potter. You were named after two heroes. My mother, and a really weird girl I went to school with. And she got into Ravenclaw, so anything's possible. Well, well what if I get put into Slytherin? Yeah, like I said, it's possible. Dad, what if I'm put in Slytherin? Minerva Bellatrix Potter. You were named after a caring professor and my godfather's murderer. What? And I kind of resent you because of that. Re really? Dad, what if I'm put in Slytherin? <laughs> Vernon Dudley Potter. You were named after my emotionally abusive uncle and his idiot son. They ruined my childhood. Why would you do that? Daddy has some issues. Dad? What if I'm put into Slytherin? Tom Voldemort Potter. Have fun in Slytherin. Dad! What if I'm put in Slytherin? Filch Squib Potter. For the last time, you were not accepted to Hogwarts. We're just dropping off your brothers and sisters. All right. Love you. Wingardium Leviosa Potter. Aragog Spider-Man Potter. Nagini Asafa Potter. Adolf Stalin Mussolini Potter. You are definitely going to be a Hufflepuff. Oh, I just want to hug everybody. Oh. Dad, what if I am put in Slytherin? Harry. Ron Riddle. You better be. Bring it in. There it is. Crucio. Happy 11th birthday, Harry dear. Now finish your butter beer. I'll go purchase the books you need for first years. Thank you, Mrs. Weasley. Mm -hmm. uh, quick question before you go. Yes, Harry dear. Do you know when I'll get to meet the headmaster? You know, Albus Dumbledore? Soon enough, Harry dear, soon enough. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'd say the prance and pony's gone downhill. Can I help you, sir? I doubt it. I'm looking for a very short person who lives with his uncle and carries a great burden. Is this great burden the result of a dark lord? A dark lord who once had extreme power but lost it all? And currently resides in spirit form until it can be brought back? <gasps> it's you! <laughs> it's an honor, sir. Wait, I have to be absolutely certain. Describe your best friend to me. Uh, shaggy red hair, lives in a burrow, and what he lacks in intelligence he makes up for in loyalty. That's the one! <laughs> now, Getting back to the, uh, you know what. Oh, yeah. Is it secret? Is it safe? Uh, not really. I'm pretty sure everyone knows about it. All of a talk! Uh, you must destroy it! How? I've tried everything. Neutrogena, proactive. <laughs> Dove moisturizer. Might want to try something a little stronger. Oh, no, it's him. Who? That man with the long blonde hair who thinks he's better than everyone else. I think his name is Lucius. Actually, it's pronounced Legolas. <laughs> but you're right. He's very pretentious. Yes, and he's obsessed with blood. I know. Yesterday he was like, a red sun rises, blood has been spilt. And I was like, cut the riddles, man. Just say people died here. <laughs> to give you another glass of butter beer. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. It's that tortured and sympathetic bald creature who's both a help and a hindrance to me. Does he speak entirely in the third person? Bad Dobby! Very bad Dobby! Yeah. <laughs> exactly. He's a little bit obsessed with me, probably because I'm a pretty well-known wizard. <laughs> You're a what? <laughs> Hey, look, everyone, it's Frodo the Grey! <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> but an eight-foot-tall giant named Hagrid told me I was. Have you been eating Farmer Brown's mushrooms again? 
No, sir. I, I just... Oh, no, sir. It's one of them. Cast the Patronus. Yes, one of the nine. They are drawn to it. They will not rest until they... Kiss me. Yes, I know, sir. They're obsessed with kissing. So you have been eating those mushrooms. Oh, good heavens, they are obsessed with kissing. Buy me dinner first, you dragon-riding Nazgul freak! Oh! That was brilliant, Dumbledore. Dumbledore? Peekaboo! <laughs> Why, Gandalf, you look confused. Uh, no, he's not. I'm fairly certain we're on the same page. Allow me to demonstrate. I will describe someone and you tell me who you think it is. All right. Okay. Skinny, long-haired, threatening person who ends up being good. Aragorn. Snape. <laughs> Mischievous comic relief duo always playing with fireworks. Mary and Pippin. Fred and George. <laughs> Giant spider. Sheila. Aragorn. <laughs> Crazy, short, brown-haired person always trying to prove to everyone how great they are. Gimli. Hermione. <laughs> Evil, power-hungry assistant. Worm. Tail. tail. What? <laughs> you seriously have a different bad guy with worm in his name? What? <laughs> ah! Oi! You're gonna pay for that, mate. <laughs> That's my cue to leave. You can't get out of everything that way, Gandalf. This is the weirdest looking eagle I've ever seen. It's a hippogriff. Dang it! Do you think she'll notice? Yeah. All right. When Cho comes around the corner, send her this way and I'll just be casually walking by. Got it? Got it. Must not tell lies, Mr. Potter. What? Um. <laughs> Happy Christmas. Mr. Potter. Well, okay. Tasted like cat. You know, I'd snob McGonagall. Straight up. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even question it, I'd just go for it. That's kind of the Weasley way. That's I would probably wait for her to make the first move, but then after that, we'd all let it go, so no one saying. Welcome to the dueling club, everyone. Harry. Speaking of magic. Yeah. In light of your inevitable doom as Hogwarts students, we'll be using this time to teach you all how to die gracefully. Who would like to go first? Ah, uh, yes, Miss Weasley. Come on up, but try not to say anything stupid. A Weasley's mouth has a chamber of secrets best left closed. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Who else? Right. I'll go. And you are? I'm Moira Rackhauer. I'm not a Hogwarts student. I'm just here visiting my aunt. Which wizardry school did you attend? I'm homeschooled. <gasps> oh, what does that even mean? Why would you choose not to attend Tarquirts? Well, for one, homeschool has significantly higher survival rates. <laughs> Rubbish. <gasps> I've been cursed. Oh, oh no. Oh. It's okay, he's not a Gryffindor. Oh. Okay. All right, come on, Cho. Oh, what do we do with him? Oh, just shove him under the table. We'll solve that mystery oh, in June. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Plus, my parents wanted me to understand things like math and science. What's math? No, no, let's get on before we're all attacked by he who must not be named. Who? He who must not be named. My dad? No. My mom? 
he who must not be named. Oh, right, right, Dumbledore. For goodness sake, Voldemort! <gasps> Don't say his name, child. Why? As Shakespeare wrote, a rose by any other name. Oh, what's a Shakespeare? What's a rose? OK, OK. One's at the ready. One, two, three. Exfilia! Flipendo! Oh, oh. She's dead! Ooh. Two deaths in one class, ten more and I'll set a record. <laughs> Let me have a look at her. No, no, I'll take care of this. She just needs a little magic. Stupefied! Yeah. What are you doing? Everyone cast your best spell on Ginny. One of them is bound to help. No, that's a terrible idea! Expecto Patronum! Eat slugs! Bippity boppity boo! <laughs> That's not a spell. Oh, right, right, right. I've got a cadaver! Oh, well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't, my dear boy. <sighs> Crucio! No! Stop, stop, all of you! She's not dead, she just needs medical attention. More like a cry for attention. <laughs> Gingers. She needs CPR. But no one knows what you're saying. Swab the mouth, tilt the head, hands over the stern. What sort of dark magic is this? <laughs> <gasps> She's alive! How? She's a witch! We're all witches! Yes, but not all of us are competent. What are you even saying? Yeah. Well <laughs> done, Miss Rakaro. Thank you. I hope all of you will see the value in learning something other than magic. Nope! <laughs> Don't feel well. Uh, she needs to rest and elevate her legs. Allow me. Wingardium Crucio! <laughs> you're halfway through. Please subscribe and watch the other half. There's much more magic in front of you. There's more magic in front of you than behind you. Keep looking forward. Be your wand. <laughs>
I just want to say that from my heart, this is the hardest decision that I have ever had to make. James. I thought I could go. Um. I'm out of trouble. Yeah. Out of trouble. This is the final rose. When you're ready. Snape. Snape, will you accept this rose? Fine. But wear this. Always. Okay. Just like this? You like it? Yes. Let's go, Lily. It's Mallory. I can't believe I let you guys talk me into this. I hate blind dates. Relax, Wit. Besides, what did you do last Friday night? Stayed home and watched Full House. Hey, cut it out. Yeah, when's the last time you went out with a guy? Tuesday. Who wasn't your cousin? It's been a while. Trust me, Whitney. Tom and I go way back. He's great. Yeah. I haven't seen him since his parents died. Oh, yeah. But I really think you're gonna like him. His parents died? They were murdered. <laughs> Whitney Cole, come to die. It's nice to, to meet you, I, uh... Oh. Oh, okay. I will have her home by nine. <laughs> so Nellie's, huh? It's an old favorite. I'm glad I dressed up. Welcome to Nellie's Diner. My name is Jeremy. I'm going to be taking care of you this evening. I love your haircut, sir. <laughs> All right. Can I get you started with anything to drink? Just water for me, thank you. And I will have a glass of snake milk. We only have Pepsi products. <sighs> Root beer is fine. I'll be right back with us. So, um, where are you from, Tom? Well, it depends. I've moved around a lot, actually. I once lived on the back of a man's head. Yeah, that, uh, that housing market's pretty brutal, huh? Indeed. James tells me you're a Democrat? I've formed my own little club, actually. Would you like to meet some of the members? I can send for them. Ah. Oh, that's the wrong arm. No, 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 that's really okay. Don't, don't lick your arm. Very well. Are you carrying a stick, Tom? Uh, yes, I, uh, I call it my lucky stick. I also carry a wand. Are you a magician? I love magic tricks. Show me a magic trick! All right, root beer for you, sir. Avada Kedavra! <laughs> Sorry, that's the only one I really know. That was... Awesome! Do it again! Actually, I think we better get going. I already have two strikes against me for trying to kill a little boy. Oh, Tom, you're so bad. You don't know the half of it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring him with. Mm. Well, Tom, I had a really nice time tonight. You know I did, too. I really feel like I can be myself around you, which is saying a lot. I feel like I have this reputation I have to keep up, and it's really a lot of pressure. But sometimes I think, this isn't me. Just let it out, Tom. It's just one day I'm in law school, and the next I'm out cursing babies and eating unicorns. It's... Shh. Let's finish this the way we started, Tom. Together. Oh, oh, uh, uh, Whitney, I, uh... Oh. So oh, sorry, I, I just really for, caught up in the uh, moment. Well, it's a little bombarding. I just really see this was, going somewhere. Okay, I, that's a little you... too eager for the Dark Lord. Oh, come on. I'm sorry, oh, Whitney. I just, oh, I can't. Oh, Tom. Good night, Whitney. Tommy. Oh, hey, Sevy. 
How you been? I've moved on, Whitney. It's time you do the same. Patrick? When you are through here, you'll be known as Jason Bourne. I'll be whoever you need me to be, sir. That's what we like to hear. Take him out, and your training will be complete. Who is he? We've been through that, Jason. You came to us. You volunteered. What did he do? That doesn't matter. Are you willing to give yourself to this program? Yes. Good. You have five minutes. Who are you? Dobby, sir. <laughs> Listen, Dobby, I don't want to do this, but I have to. Can Dobby say something before we begin? Yeah, sure, I guess. Dobby loves you. Okay. <laughs> you don't even know me. Dobby just has a feeling, sir. It's a bad feeling, Dobby. Nope. Dobby just feels safe when he's with you. <laughs> like, no matter what happens, you will always be there to protect him. He can give you a big hug and you will make all the bad things disappear. Uh, Weird, Jason. No, that's, no, what are you doing? Okay. Oh. You're just trying to get in my head. You must be horrible for them to have brought you here. It's true, Dobby is horrible. I knew it. What did you do? There was one time that Dobby's masters beat him for 10 straight hours for breaking a dish. On the 11th hour of his beatings, Dobby asked them to politely stop. It was an awful thing to do! Yeah, you definitely deserve to die for that. I know, but it gets worse. There was one time I took a knife out to my stomach for defending a young man's life. Well, how is that worse? Because I spilt my blood on his robe. <laughs> Dobby should have been more careful with his blood. Okay, I... I don't want to, Dobby, but I have to. Dobby understands. He must die so that you can join a shady governmental program. <laughs> oh, I can't do this. I can't do it. I warned you, Jason, there's no going back. You shall not hurt friends of Dobby! <laughs> oh, yes. what? Did you just knock out my boss, well, Dobby? I'm sure he's fine, we just need to... <laughs> oh. Oh. More powerful than I remembered. I better get going, things are happening. What? What happened? What's going on? You came in here and totally avada cadavered that guy. Seriously, <laughs> how did I, who am I? You're a wizard, Jason. <laughs> yeah, here's your acceptance letter to Hogwarts. <laughs> Better get going, don't wanna miss the train. <laughs> Wait, Jason, before you go, there's a professor there named Severus Snape. Yeah? Take him out. Matthew, I need to talk to you for a moment. Sure, boss, what do you think? You've been a great store supervisor, but it's time to trim the fat. I need you to fire our door greeter. Really? But he's the nicest employee we have. I mean, hence the greeting. The man wears a pillowcase to work. I mean, we have standards here at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, fire him. Otherwise, you're back to butchering me with Lamilda. <laughs> Just you, me, and dead cows. Uh, but how can I fire someone so innocent? It's easy, I do it all the time. Just give him this two weeks' notice and avoid eye contact. Otherwise, it'll be like trying to kill a freakishly cute kitten with adorably huge eyes. <laughs> I'm keeping this. Oh, m my daughter did. I know. Okay. Uh, Gloria, could you please send in the door greeter to see me? Oh, never mind. Supervisor happy. 
Thank you, Dobby. Please come in. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Can Dobby say something before we begin? Sure, but make it brief. Dobby loves you. Oh. <laughs> Please don't make this any harder than it has to be. Just take oh, this. Oh, paper! <laughs> the greatest of all gifts. What? No, Dobby, it's not like this that. This is the happiest day of my life. Dobby, please, before you say another word, just read what it says. Well, unfortunately, Dobby cannot read. Will you read it for him? Oh. Oh. Dear Dobby. Be still, my beating heart. <laughs> we here at Walmart thank you for your years of faithful Whoa, service. Oh, say it again. <laughs> but unfortunately, in this economic climate, we have to roll back our prices and sometimes our employees. That's insensitive. <laughs> Dobby does not understand your cruel euphemisms. You can pick up your final paycheck in two weeks after your job officially terminates. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh Dobby. Do Dobby. Your eyes. Dobby doesn't need his eyes anymore. Wait, Dobby, there's more. This is so that we can promote you to chief door greeter of all Walmart. Oh, put my eyes back in. Uh, yes. Both of them. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, good. I warned you, Matt. You're back with Lamilda. You shall not hurt friends of Dobby. Oh, oh. Dobby, did you just kill my boss? He had it coming. <laughs> I mean, he may have survived the wound. Oh, nope, he is dead. <laughs> what are we gonna do? I take care of body. <laughs> it's good. Ugh. For Russia! Ah! Ah! All right, you all know the drill. Last night we got a tip that a crazed madman has plans to destroy the world. We've rounded up the only criminals who could be responsible. Darth Vader, Voldemort, Bane, and of course, Mahatma Gandhi. You're making a huge mistake. Save it, Gandhi. Now we're fitting you all with our most advanced mind reading technology. Whenever I ask you a question, these caps are gonna answer for you. Uh, but I'm innocent. We'll see about that. <laughs> all right, let's go over our culprit's profile. The villain probably has a band of loyal followers who obey his every word. A match on all four, sir. Good. Yes, but my followers are all pacifists. <laughs> a likely story. The villain probably doesn't go by his given name. Another match. Well, no one's gonna be afraid of the Dark Lord Tom. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> uh, you think that's funny, Antonio? <laughs> oh, look who's talking, Anakin. Or should I say, little Anne? <laughs> <laughs> All right, the villain probably has a dark catchphrase, such as, I am your father, come to die, I was raised by darkness, or an eye for an eye makes the world blind. <laughs> what does that even mean? It is a proverb, not an evil saying. <laughs> oh, but it gets better. The villain is probably bald. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? No, he's right. The insecurity makes you evil. This mask does nothing. It merely draws the eye away from my shiny dome of shame. The villain has probably been to prison. Wow. I was protesting unjust laws. And besides, what about Bane? I was born there, convict. The villain has probably overthrown a government. And his new regime may still be in power. What? Oh! Can your henchmen actually fight? Because my clones are total pansies. 
Vader, I told you a thousand times, clone Darth Maul, but no. Really? Well, didn't I say, watch out, Snape's in love with your enemy's dead mom. Vader, you're in love with your enemy's dead mom. Touche. Well all right, somebody talk. The guilt must be killing you. Oh, sure, we all cry ourselves to sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> Still not over, Padme. Look, we know it's one of you. The villain has a super weapon that can change the world. You think that I am the one with the weapon? Look at what I'm wearing. Where would I hide it? <laughs> well, who else could it be? The Death Star blew up, the Elder Wand broke, and that Al Ghul girl didn't detonate the bomb in time. Well, we can't have two of Batman's girlfriends blow up, am I right? <laughs> Too soon? Too soon. <laughs> I felt it as I was saying it. We know it's you, Mahatma. We know that your weapon is called nonviolence. Nonviolence? Who attacks non, sicko? <laughs> Nonviolence, it means not violent. <laughs> Save it for the judge, Gandhi. Save it for the judge. You're going away for a long time. Did I tell you to turn that oh, off? Sorry. Hello? Oh, yeah. The Indian parliament is looking for their spiritual leader. Small, skinny, incredibly wise. I'm really sorry about this. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> well, uh, you know, uh, happens all the time. Don't even worry about it, Antonio. Annie. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Yes, and also comment on this video and like our channel, please. Thank you. Mischief managed. Sing. Make a magic sound. Ba. Ba. Lower. Ba. More in the nose. Yeah.